Good day, people of God. It's Pastor Jeremiah, also known as Pastor Loic. We'd like to hear the word of God for the week. But before we do so, let us start with a word of prayer. So reverence to our Heavenly Father, our God, let us bow our head and let us pray. Blessed Father, exalted King, wonderful Savior, magnificent God, you will reign forever, the only true God, the everlasting God, the wonderful healer, the magnificent God, the faithful Savior, you will reign forever, you who never change. We bless you, we adore you, we exalt you, we magnify you, wonderful, glorious, blessed, exalted Father, thank you for this new opportunity given, on, given unto us to be found in your presence. And we pray, asking you, in the name of Jesus Christ, to have mercy upon us, to forgive us for whatever we may have done, said or thought, that in not honor or glorify you, and that you purify us and purge your conscience from any deadly works that we be able to serve you as we're supposed to. We surround ourselves, body, soul, and spirit, mind, and heart, and we take authority over every power of darkness, over every evil presence, anything that opposes itself against the revelation of your truth, any wicked speech in high places, any powers of the, any rulers of the darkness of this world, we bound you, we cast you into the pit of hell in the name of Jesus Christ, and we proclaim that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. We thank you, we exalt you, and we pray that you take us deeper and deeper into the revelation of your word, Almighty God. Take us deeper and deeper into who you are in Jesus Christ's name. We thank you. We appreciate you. In Jesus Christ's name we prayed. Amen. So we take a main passage of the Holy Scripture in the book of John chapter 1 verse 1 to verse 4. So reading the word of God in the book of John chapter 1 verse 1 to verse 4 in the name of Jesus Christ. We say in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God the same was in the beginning with God all things were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made in him was life and the life was the light of man may the Lord bless his word may it come full of understanding revelation grace life and blessing in the name of Jesus Christ so for this week we would like to continue in a main series of teaching about in search of God and the subtitle of this teaching is God and the light God and the light as human beings fail to have a better knowledge and understanding of God, they are thus limited in their respective experience of God. This simply means that the more you know and understand God, the more you will experience God in your life, for God is principle. In other terms, God abides by the principles that he has established for all his creation. And the principles of God are outlined in his word. Thus, when you meditate the word of God day and night, even as God instructed us through Joshua, you will come to uncover the principles of God. Hence, the more you meditate on the word of God, the more principles of God you will discover. And the more you'll be able to apply them in your life. And as a result, you will be successful in whatsoever you will do in life. And this is the reason why John chapter 1 verse 4 says that in the word of God is life in other term life is found in living by the principles of God and it is for this cause 
that God said the following through the prophet Hosea in Hosea chapter 4 verse 6 my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because you have rejected knowledge I will also reject you that you shall be no priest to me seeing you have forgotten the law of your God in other words the principles of your God I will also forget your children it is therefore imperative for us to strive to know and understand more about God we need to dedicate ourselves to uncover the principles of God at line in his word the word God is associated to the word light and whenever we hear the word God we need to think about the light and this is why the book of first John says the following about God in first John chapter 1 verse 5 this then is the message which we have heard of him and declare unto you that God is light and in him is no darkness at all and we cannot understand why God called the light to to be just after creating the heaven and the earth in Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 to 4 which says in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth and the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters and God said let there be light and there was light and God saw the light that it was good and God divided the light from the darkness the very first words that God spoke after his first two creations the heaven and the earth were let there be light and knowing that God is light this means that God was simply saying that he must be in other terms God must be present in his creation and because God is light and in him there is no darkness at all hence God separated the light from the darkness by this God is revealing unto us that when we plan to do something we first need to make sure that God is present in whatsoever we would like to do and because God is light and in him there is no darkness at all we must therefore make sure that we separate ourselves from anything that belongs to darkness we need to separate ourselves from any sinful ways we need to separate ourselves or on our enterprise from any evil anything that pertains to evil we need to dissociate it from whatever we plan to do by doing so we are making sure that God is present in our life by doing so we are making sure that God is present in our project for you cannot claim to be a Christian and yet continue to associate with darkness by living in sin and you expect God to be present in your life or in your situation this is simply lying to yourself 
even as the word of God states in 1st John chapter 1 verse 6 to verse 7 which says if we say that we have fellowship with him in order with God and walk in darkness we lie and do not the truth but if we walk in the light as he is in the light we have fellowship one with another and the blood of Jesus Christ his son cleanses us from all sin thus you cannot declare that you are more than conqueror through Christ while you are still living in sexual immorality and expect God to manifest in your life or in your situation it does not work this way remember that God is principle and unless you dissociate yourself from all types of darkness God will not be present in your life or in your circumstance for God is light and in him there is no darkness at all the light stimulate the sight in other words the light enables you to see adequately this means that because of the light you are able to see in front of you so that you will know where to lay your foot in order for you not to fall because of the light you are able to know where you are going and not get lost because of the light you are able to differentiate between two things hence you will not be in confusion this simply implies that the fact that God is light means that without God in your life you will not be able to see what is happening in your life in other terms you will not understand what is going on in your life and this is the reason why many people are usually saying I do not understand what is happening in my life this is simply an indication that there is an absence of light in their life in other words God is not present in their life because they are still associating themselves with darkness hence God cannot be present in their life and again the fact that God is light implies that if God is not present in your life you will live in confusion and you will not be able to differentiate between good and evil and this is the reason why many people are usually making wrong choices in life choices which they will regret later on in their life for instance they marry the wrong spouse they choose the wrong career in life and so on and this is why we usually hear people saying my life is a mess and this is simply an indication that there is an absence of light in their life you know term, God is not present in their life because such people refuse to separate themselves from sinful ways thinking that God will still manifest even though their life is in sin or they live in sin but the reality is that this is completely against the principle of God which says that God is light and in him there is no darkness at all and again because God is light it implies that if God is not present in your life you will not move forward in life simply because you cannot see where you are going for you are in darkness and this is why we can hear many people saying I feel like my life is going nowhere or others will say I do not progress in life my life turns in cycles and this is again an indication of the absence of light in the life meaning that God is not present in the life 
simply because they continue to associate with darkness. Another aspect of the light is that it makes things to be visible. And the fact that God is light therefore means that when God is present in your life, you will become visible to those people that God has said to be a blessing to you. And this is why the wise men came from far to offer gifts unto Jesus Christ simply because God was present in the life of Jesus Christ. Matthew chapter 2 verse 1 to 12. Hence, failing to associate yourself or to dissociate, failing to dissociate yourself from darkness will result in people whom God has said to be a blessing unto you that they will thus fail to locate you for they cannot see you because you are not visible for you are in darkness hence make sure that God is present in your life by forsaking any form of sin in your life there is a deeper meaning to the fact of having God present in your life for the word of God says in 2 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 70 now the Lord is that spirit here referring to the Holy Spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty not the, where God is there is liberty there is freedom this means that because God is present in your life as a result of the fact that you are you have separated yourself from sin hence the powers of darkness will run away from you demons and fallen angels will flee from you you'll be free from any force of darkness for they will not support the presence they will not resist the presence of God in your life this means that sickness will flee from you cancer will flee from you backsliding and setback will flee from you divorce will flee from you death will flee from you poverty will flee from you failure will flee from you and so on and the verse 4 of the first chapter of the book of Genesis which we have already read tells us that God made an observation before separating the light from the darkness Genesis chapter 1 verse 4 and God saw the light that it was good and God divided the light from the darkness this implies that until you are able to recognize and appreciate the goodness of God, you will not be able to dissociate yourself from darkness. In other terms, until you are able to know God through the continual daily meditation of the Word of God, day and night, you will not be able to separate yourself from sin. And this is why the word of God tells us the following in Psalm 34 verse 8. Oh, test and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusts in him. Hence, we need to understand the importance The imperative of having the presence of God in our life. And this can only be by separating yourself from sin. Dissociating yourself from any form of darkness. Remember Jesus Christ who said, My Father 
is always with me because I always do what pleases him. But on the cross, Jesus asked the question, Father, Father, why have you forsaken me? Because at that time indeed, God the Father had forsaken Jesus Christ. Because at that very moment, he was carrying the sins of humanity. And because God does not associate with darkness, for sins belongs to darkness. Therefore, God had to separate himself from him. God had to leave him. If God did not break the principle for the sake of Jesus Christ, do you think he will do so for your sake? No. God is principle. He abides to his principle. Therefore, make sure that you put this principle in practice and you will see the hand of God in your life. You will see the manifestation of God in your life. You will experience God in whatsoever you are doing in life. Hence, we want to pray to say, thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for the revelation of your word. And I pray, Abba Father, so that you help me to completely separate myself from all form of darkness in my life once and for all so that your presence be forever manifest in my life at all time and in every circumstance in the name of Jesus Christ and I pray that because of your presence in my life let all the people and every element of your entire creation that you have said to be a blessing to me locate and bless my life in the name of Jesus Christ and I pray that because of your presence in my life let me understand my divine purpose in life and let me fulfill it in the name of Jesus Christ thus because of your presence in my life there is no confusion in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. There is no stagnation in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. And because of your presence in my life, sickness flee far away from me in the name of Jesus Christ. Demons and fallen angels flee far away from me in the name of Jesus Christ. Failure and poverty flee far away from me in the name of Jesus Christ. And again, I pray that every single day of my life, day and night, that your word be my meditation so that I may know you more and more in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you, Heavenly Father, for hearing me and for answering me accordingly. May you be forever and ever glorified in the name of Jesus Christ.